hey, first thing first, don't buy a GoPro. I've had nothing but issues. The app doesn't work right. It, uh, batteries die constantly. I know the batteries don't last long, but uh, it locks up all the time. If I connect an external battery to extend it, it locks up. I can never use the external microphone because guess what? It locks up. So, I don't know what my next uh, action cam is gonna be. I normally, like I've kind of switched over to a Sony A7C mirrorless camera, but like for stuff like this and like quick shots, hiking, stuff like that, I would like something like a GoPro. What, it's in there. Cameras with us, so we're on a we're on our maiden voyage. Yeah, we're on our maiden voyage. After camping on the side of our house for four days. Yeah. Here it is. So we can, you know. Oh, can we both see it? Do you think? Probably. Can you see it on the phone? You used to be able to. Oh, but it's now you It's not can't. a feature anymore. Oh, gotcha. That sucks. Uh, yeah, maiden voyage after camping. Yeah, so maiden voyage with our mission overland. Uh, the trial. Mission Overland in here. Let me. This is too loud. And the trial was four times on the side of our house. So we're <laughs> main voyage with the Mission Overland Summit. We have slept in it actually quite a few times. Four. Well, I slept in it without you. Twice. So anyway. I gave up the first night. <laughs> We've been trying out Let's different mattress tops. Let's see on it. And trying it out, but um, so yeah, this is our actual first voyage out, and we're going ice fishing at Entero Reservoir, and uh, so we have a lot of stuff <laughs> apparently because the bed of the truck's full, like behind the seats and the floor is full. The dog barely fits now. The camper's full. I'm gonna go with six things that we're gonna need. Okay. No, no, I have more confidence in my are you, packing. Are you gonna I'm gonna change my answer. I would like to say three. One of them is dish soap. I'm calling it now. Did we not bring dish soap? I don't think there's dish soap in the kitchen, but I, I wasn't gonna look. The... I wasn't gonna look. Oh no. We will find out. Don't worry, I have a backup plan. Okay. But I'm calling it now. What's your backup plan? I'm not telling hands, you. Hands up. I'm not telling you. But I'm just saying. Oh, I didn't think they were going to stop. I know. They just are going fast in their newly purchased vehicle. She didn't like being behind me. No, she did not. Don't stare at her. She's staring at you. Anywho, um, so I don't think we have soap. This is really the first test of the Red Arc brake controller, too. We did drive it home, but we haven't driven it through the mountains yet with the Red Arc controller. So, we'll see how that goes. I may need to adjust a, a little bit. So, there's a little, if you guys watch my previous videos, there's a knob here that I can adjust the strength of the brake controller and with all this extra stuff so when we drove it home it was empty now we have all of our food and drinks and all of our camping junk and it's definitely heavier so I might adjust it here a little bit <laughs>
we are uh, stopped because somebody gets car sick. You wanna? Here you go. You can see mom there. Oh, stop it! <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's this happens every time. So. She uh, doesn't do so good in the mountains. Is that mom? She's barfing. <laughs> so we've so far we've had a beautiful drive. There's just a little little bit of snow. Well, there's probably a lot of bit of snow, but a little in the trees. It's been great. We're about. 50 minutes. How do you feel? Better? Do you, do you feel better? Yeah. You're not answering. I'm guessing that's a no. Coming up on one of my favorite views. So, up here is Kenosha Pass. And it's very popular with snowshoers. Hikers, the Colorado Trail comes through here, so very popular. And then right after that is the Valley of South Park. Look at that view, especially in the winter time. Looks like the mountains are kind of socked in a little bit, but oh, <laughs> love it. out there fishing there's a camper one camper besides this us cold. and uh, he doesn't have a vehicle like I don't know how he's got out there but oh well it's I'm like not gonna make it. you can go inside Definitely gotta put some levelers on that side. It's nice. You know when it's not windy. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Dogs liking it out here. This is perfect. There's not any wind. Windy. Don't don't go out past this area. We're good to go. Oops. I don't understand. Yeah, he's by himself. I know. So we need to unhook and stuff. So. You got a lift. <laughs> Hold it. I am. Okay. Is it in? Yes. Ish? Yes. I just can't get it all the way through. Push the roof. No, don't do that. Go. Teamwork makes the dream work. So we put in, there's this bar here. Since it's windy, it is nice in here. It is. <laughs> it's actually pretty warm. <laughs> okay. It's a lot nicer. Okay. Hey, Max. Um, where can we put this? Uh, uh well. We had to roll up the mattress topper because, you know, we need to make room and it's memory foam, so it's a little frozen. Uh, but we got it and we put a bungee cord around it and the dog's happy because it's warm in here. <laughs> it's fake. So uh, we're just going to set up the, the table so we can have some supper inside later. Oop. From stripping wire.
this on. Here we go. Now we have a spot to eat. Dog has a place to lay down. He can even get down. Yeah. It's a little windy, but in here it's nice. It's nice. And we can get some sunlight to warm it up in here. What do you think, Max? Yeah. Oh yeah, now you're good. So, I don't know, what do you think about setting up the bat, or the, it's a bit the 270? Because if we could get some walls on it, you yeah, know, it'll keep but us... but it is a bit windy. Yeah, we'd have to stake it the down. wind dies down? Well, I don't know. Everything's just so cold. I'd say we'd go explore the campsite, but you know. It's, There's not you can a lot. see it from here. <laughs> Our trash can. What do you think, Max? You can be able to live in here? You can be able to make it work? Just gonna set up the uh, awning. Where did the scraps go? They're on the ground in there. Four? Yeah. It's probably easier with four. supposed to be. Guess he wanted to be on here. Say, thank God. We have service out here because I have no idea how to tie knots. <laughs> so you did a quick YouTube, right? Yeah. Just just a little YouTube. YouTube, YouTube. We're never gonna get the other one undone. No, the one I just tied, I'm never gonna get undone. Yeah, you will. Okay. Okay, can you do it again? I don't know. Do you need me to YouTube it? No. I'm gonna get it. But first I gotta get it through here. It's called a uh, knot. No, it's called an awning tie. I don't think that's what it's that's called. That's what the YouTube video called it. Okay. Can we go inside now? You can go inside. I have to finish I'm video. Finish this, and then I'm gonna uh, put up the walls so we have somewhere to stay warm while we make din din. walls didn't help any because the wind is coming from this direction so we're going to try
try to heat up some food before it gets too dark. kitchen. We haven't used it yet. So, gotta turn on some, some gas there. And, uh, got the new wind brake. I'm glad I, uh, glad I put this on. Otherwise, uh, this wouldn't work too well. Well, anyway, we're set up at camp and uh, the sun's going down, but it's beautiful out here. Let me just, there we go. Look at that. So there was one lone fisherman out there, but uh, has come in for the evening but we'll go out there in the morning and set up but look at this pretty sweet view out here so we got this kelty camp kitchen and uh, <laughs> I realized, so we have our, or it's the, it's the, what's it called? The Camp Galley Deluxe. Now it's super cool, it fits all of our kitchen stuff, but uh, it kind of blocks, <laughs> kinda blocks the, the lights. So, anywho, dog is eating, he's happy for now. I'm starting to see my breath. Yeah, it's getting cold. It's getting cold. But uh, we're making some tomato soup. Tomato soup and grilled cheese. We'll see if we get there. So apparently we parked the wrong direction because the wind is just coming right through here. So there's that. I'm gonna make some dinner, enjoy the views from inside because it's it's warm in here, so. <laughs> so, uh, it's much warmer in here. We're pointing cameras at each other now. Yep. But, tomato soup. Somebody's cozy. He enjoys being out of the wind. Dog, do you wanna go home? Max. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. So it is much warmer in here with the heater on. I only set it to 60. Feels like 100 compared to outside. I don't know why we have our beer and koozies, but. So as we're driving down here, it overheated like three times. Three times. And then, uh, it was plugged in in my truck the whole time and then uh, you know I try to record and it has 3% so maybe I didn't do something right when I was recording you doing the awning room and stuff well maybe I should stop doing 4k because it doesn't last as long This is recording in 4K, and I still got 85% left. Clearly, technology's improved. Well, that has a much larger battery. Mm hmm And that's newer. Mm, yeah. So, how did you sleep? You snore. How did you sleep? Um, once the... Uh, ibuprofen PM kicked in. I slept like a amazing. I slept amazing. 
Yeah. So we got some. Well, this is air. It's icy. We got. <laughs> but it looks like a nice day out, although it's eight degrees right now. Well, the GoPro failed me once again. I had it inside charging in the warmth all night. And I tried to use it this morning and it died immediately. But hey. So last night was eventful, huh? <laughs> the uh, inside is really frozen because of the uh, moisture. We have some moisture pack things and we didn't use it. We but, forgot. But, we can't uh, find where we pack stuff. And it took some Tylenol or ibuprofen PM for me to be able to sleep last night. Aren't you glad and more blank. I think the more blankets helped. You're welcome. Yeah. Mr. Tough Guy who wasn't going to want to get another blanket. Max happily took it too. Yeah. It is, uh, it's really beautiful out here this morning. You can see the mountains. Take that out. I'm supposed to be ice fishing like all all these people out here, but I'm just taking my time. There's a load of cars like down there, but I have all day, right? We're really here to test this thing out anyway. So, how did you find it? Did you? It was really windy last night. Yeah. And that kind of set a bad mood for the rest of the evening. It's nice and calm now. Um, but I think Tylenol PM, I think we have some I feel indifferent still on the sleeping bag. I think a lot of our problem is our dog who's a bed hog. Um, he likes to take over all of the bed and the warmth. Yeah. Um, but the blanket helped, the uh, ibuprofen PM helped. Some people need to be a little bit more respectful when they get out at 3.30 in the morning when shutting the door. <laughs> I had to go to the bathroom I really badly. I understand, but it was a loud thunk. It kind of scared us both. I was semi-awake. The dog didn't care. He, it jolted him. It was like, ooh. Um, but other than that, I think, I think it has great potential. We just need to work out the kink. Like, knowing where we pack stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not digging around. I don't know but. about this stove situation. Because it's taken a while for the coffee to percolate. Come here. Drop it.
out on the ice anyway. I need a shoulder. Or not. I got it. Okay. Much better. I just picked a spot that already had a bunch of holes, but well, I mean it did at one point. So I got my my key to drill. Max, come here. Where are you going? And uh, this is just a Cabela's Cabela's uh, drill adapter. I think we got it on Amazon. No, I don't know, whatever. What do you think? You don't like the sound of the creaky, do you? Apparently somebody's cold, my my uh, videographer here. So I guess I have to get out the freaking tent. That's crazy. What? The polarized. I thought your screen wasn't working. <laughs> That thing, like in the wind, like it gets windy out here, it wouldn't stand up. So, going back to the Eskimo. had zero luck. There are zero fish in this lake, I think. Zero. Stop staring. Stop it. You think you're going to give them a treat? I don't have any more treats. Why not? I don't have any more. See? No treats. No treats. The buddy heater has been great. The wife was right by setting up the tent and getting the heater. You're welcome. Um, I would have to say the the Eskimo is better. The it uses some like big nylon straps, like this big. With the carabiner. With the carabiner, so we way easier to tie down. But uh, yeah, no fish, which kind of is disappointing, but well. That is not very, so let, give me the camera. Give me the camera, I'm gonna interview you. Yep. Favorite part of the trip? 
the views. They were gorgeous. They are still. They are gorgeous. Worst part of the trip. Wind. Wind. First improvement when you get home. Of what? The camper. Um, what are you going to do? I don't know if it's an improvement, but I don't know. Figure out our storage better, more. Because it's way different when you go out to use the camper versus when you're sleeping on the side of your house. And what thing frustrated you the most? As far as what? With the camper and storage. Maybe the, that was just, the frustration was mostly wind. But I don't think we're gonna like having the pantry on the opposite side of the camper. Especially if we have the awning walls up and then we'd have to go all the way around. So I think that is my answer. And inside. Uh, since the camper is definitely aluminum, um, there is a ton of condensation. Although it was like five degrees at night and we had it like 60 in the camper so there was a lot of condensation but we could have we had these little con these little bags that soak up moisture that we didn't put up so it's kind of our fault um i think we need to i've seen some people on the mission overland group that take like pvc pipe for the heater to redirect the heat towards the bed instead of it shooting at the cabinets so that I think that we need to do that uh, the best part is still the being able to stand up because I had to use the restroom last night and I was able to stand up and put my shoes on and get out and go to the restroom so that was nice What do you think about the park? Here? Yeah. It's a really cool campground. It's free. It seems really clean. There's like, even in the middle of winter, like new trash bags and all the trash cans and there's a ton of toilet paper in the pit toilets. But uh, there's no, there's no like trees anywhere. So there's no wind blockage. So that kind of is not great. But other than that, I mean, it's a nice, nice area. And it's, again, it's free, so you can't beat that. Well, I think that's probably gonna be it for the, uh, that's probably gonna be it for the shakedown trip. <laughs> it's cold, it's windy. You know, I don't mind winter camping, but man, the wind is a killer. So maybe we'll do a winter camping trip somewhere else other than a place that's completely exposed without any trees whatsoever. Question? Yes? Should I let the dog continue to eat if we're leaving? <laughs> of course he's eating now. <laughs> Should I take his food away so he doesn't barf? I don't know. What do you think? I guess he can eat when we get home. Okay, Max. Dad That's kind of mean, I guess. Well, guys, <laughs> I think we found a lot about. I think we found out a lot about the camper and how we're gonna pack it. So there's definitely gonna be some changes and whatnot. Hopefully, uh, this video wasn't too boring, but it was an interesting trip. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more, I guess, more power to you, but hit that like button, hit subscribe.
We'll see you on the uh, next adventure. Hopefully not as windy next time. <laughs>